Hi, uh, this is Dr. Yusuf. I'm presenting to you today the way I do the dropless cataract surgery so that the patient doesn't need to put drops after surgery except for lubricating drops. Patients presenting with a lot of drops, they're confused about them uh, and uh, a lot of them they can't put it in. We want to end up with a happy patient that doesn't need to put drops. These are the locations and the medication we're going to be injecting. So it's moxifloxacin intraocular all over and the longer acting ones outside the eye. Uh, this is an off-label use of these medications, except for the uh, the trimoxy, which is approved for that use. Uh, this is the method to prepare the moxy, according to Dr. Steve Arshinov. And you add 3 ml of Vegamox and 7 ml of BSS, you end up with the proper mix. And again, this is an off-label use, but it has been safely and effectively used for years. I use this. Uh, preparation for uh, since 2004. This is the first patient. Uh, I'll just show the part that uh, this was symphony implant. So we're gonna inject the this is the uh, BSS and then this is the, the next one is the moxifloxacin 150 microgram per 0.1 ml. I hydrate the wounds uh, uh, both of them and uh, and inject into the anterior chamber and into the sulcus and into the bag so every every place inside intraocularly will uh, be replaced with uh, the moxifloxacin the 150 micrograms of well, that's which is above the MIC and I just finished whatever we have on the surface this is an FDA approved from Imprimis uh, the trimoxy it's a mix that we inject uh, Normally it was intraocular, but I use it a little differently because the, uh, the intraocular one blocks the vision for a few days. So this is an easier method to do, you just inject it sub in the subconscious space with the same exact effect without having the, the foggy vision for a few days after surgery. So this was the first case. I'll show you another one, uh, just so I'll go through this. It was a bilateral symphony uh, implant. So again, hydrate the wound with the moxifloxacin. Uh, both sides of the main wound, the paracentesis, and inject in the sulcus, in the bag, and in the anterior chamber, and behind the intraocular lens. So you have to make sure that the eye is pressurized and the wounds are self-sealing. So you start by preparing the wound properly from the beginning. So that the wounds are self-sealing. If you have any doubt, you have to put a suture. Or very, very rarely do, but it's it's uh, it, if in doubt, just put one. And this is the mox uh, trimoxy injected in the subconscious space. Again, these are the locations: the moxy in the, in the intraocular and the trimoxy and the in subconscious space. This is the original location of the description of the trimoxy. It's injected transonular <laughs> into the burger space. Uh, so it stays there, but some of it leaks into the uh, vitreous cavity and fogs the vision a little bit. But we tried also the intravitreal route, but it fogs the vision for a few days too. So uh, I'll go through another case. Same thing. So we're gonna. This is the uh, moxifloxacin injected to hydrate the wounds, so the wounds become self-sealing. The main wound, the paracentesis. Again, it's another symphony uh, lens implant into the sulcus, into the bag, and into the anterior chamber. And just squirt the rest on the surface. And the next one is the tri trimoxy, which is long acting steroid and moxifloxacin. I, instead of injecting it into the burger space, I inject it in the subconscious space. And stays there for a few weeks actually after surgery. The, Results are very similar to using drops or the uh, transonial uh, intravitreal for the boat. So I'll show a few more cases very quick and they sped up uh, to the sake of, uh, of time just to show you that's uh, been done quite a few times. So I've been using this, uh, the, the moxifloxacin part, I've been using this from 2004. This, the subconj root of uh, trimcinol, I've seen, been using it for a few months now. Uh, and it's, it's really uh, working very well, very convenient for patients. 
you don't need to put drops after sometimes it's very difficult to put drops and uh, this was the solution and way out of it the uh, and it's it's worth great there's absolutely great compliance because uh, you don't have to remember to putting the drops in same another patient again we hydrate the wound to inject behind and you replace everything with with the moxifloxacin inside and inject the trimoxy subconscious again hydration behind so uh, and the amount of, uh, of amount injected is uh, of the trimoxy is about 0.1 Point, uh, no, sorry, 0.2 to 0.3 mLs. A few more cases. You see that uh, a lot of my lenses are the symphony lenses, which I love very much uh, to correct the, uh, the close-up vision in addition to the distance vision. And another hydration of the wounds. Uh, again it's very very important to make sure that the wounds are self-sealing and uh, it's very important for the patient not to, uh, to touch their eyes generally whether droplets or not because they can open the wound and uh, introduce uh, some bugs into the eye and cause uh, endophthalmitis so it's very very uh, important for the patient to not rub their eyes and if I tell them if they rub their eyes they have to let me know so you can check them more closely and start them on talking about antibiotics in that case and again uh, this was <coughs> an the part of the intraocular moxie, this is an off-label use for that. Uh, Dr. Rajanov uh, gave us the recipe for this and I'll put it in the in the uh, section below. And <coughs> this is the location of the medication. The moxie is intraocular trimoxie outside and the trimoxie is prepared from Imprimis and it's FDA approved for intraocular use. The original description was to inject it transonular into the vitreous cavity, into the burger space. That's the burger space. But I found that it fogs the vision sometimes uh, for a few days. And the transvitreal route also is a possibility, but again, it fogs the vision even more than the transonular uh, route. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you.